everybody, morning, welcome back. Uh, it's day seven, I think, of our build. It's cold um, on the Isle of Wight. It's, I think it was about two degrees this morning. We've got a little heater in the van now, warm it up a little bit. Today, we're going to hammer out all of the holes that were left over from taking out the seat rails. And once that's dry, we can fill them. Might not get warm enough today to do that, but we'll, we'll get all the painting done today. We need to have a look at this sliding door again because it's definitely leaked overnight. Find out where the water's coming in there. And we also have a leak on the back window. So we need to get that sorted. So, hammer right, paint brushes, crack on. So this morning, we Hello. <laughs> yeah, so this morning we painted all of the holes from the floor rail bolts with hammerite. So we're now going to use Sikaflex to seal them up. And then when that's dry, we will paint the underside of that with vehicle sealant. This morning also, we haven't videoed it because it was too cold and too constrained, but we've used the angle grinder to cut all of the rails off from under the van. So that job is now done as well. So, going to crack on with the Sikaflex. Hopefully get all these holes filled. Filled. Yes. And then we've got to take the door off and find out when it's water coming in. Yeah. In, in like minus one weather, which is... Lovely. Welcome to the Mavano colander. <laughs> She's good. She's got no rust. No. There's not a drop of rust in her. There's no leaks. There's no, you know, um, one little tiny leak. We can live with that. Yeah. Yep. We'll fix that when it's a bit warmer. Bit. So, catch up in a bit. Bye. Thanks, bye. The no sag really helps. Okay, so basically we've taken the rails off the bottom of the uh, inside of the uh, minibus, leaving hundreds of tiny little holes to the outside. So today we have uh, hammerited them to make sure that there's no rust. And they're all nicely sealed around the outside and then what's happening now is Matt is <coughs> filling the tiny little holes with Sikaflex um, but it's not it's Sikaflex 3 and 1 isn't it? Yeah uh, EBT plus adhesive yeah. sealant and filler okay so we're using that to fill these little holes that's the black that you can see. And then what we'll do for underneath, we will cover each of the little plugs with the vehicle rubberized sealant. The same stuff we're using to cover up our gas, it, gas tank uh, to prevent it from damage. And then that should completely seal all of these tiny little holes. 